I am attempting to make some cavity wax so that I could rust proof this car here. So what I got here is a plastic pail on an induction hot plate. How does that work? Well, it doesn't unless you put a big hunk of metal inside. So I've used this before and it worked, so I'm hoping it's going to work again. I don't see that wax melting yet. So what I'm using, or going to attempt to use, is these toilet bowl seals. And um, I'm going to melt it down and I got a little bit of uh, uh, linseed oil and some um, Barsol paint thinner mixed in there. This was a, I, I used this to make some uh, sealer for some wood. So I melted in some paraffin wax into this mixture before. So I left a little bit of that in there. And uh, this, this, um, toilet, this toilet wax is it's a lot softer. It, when, it, when, it, uh, when it cools down, it doesn't go hard. It stays nice and soft. So I think that'll be better. And, and then I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to pour a little bit of transmission fluid in here too. I want it to be, I want it to be kind of oily. So far I've melted one of these rings into the solution. I did add a little bit of uh, automatic transmission fluid. And you can see, see, see on the side where it's, it's uh, hanging on the side there. So that's kind of an indicator to me that um, this stuff's gonna work really well because that I was stirring it and it splashed up, up on the, to the high part where it's cooler and the wax solidified somewhat there to the point where you know there's a, there's a film forming so if I can get this sprayed inside the car I think it's going to work really well I just want to thicken it up a bit you can see it's getting warm because it's, it's gassing off a bit I had a hard time getting this thing to stay on I guess it's sensing that uh, it doesn't have a, the right pot on it which is true, I guess. So um, I'm just gonna give this a little stir here, see what it does. No, it's not, it's not warm enough yet. The other one is just falling apart. It's pretty thick wax, so it's gonna take some time to get it warmed up. There we go, that's uh, a few minutes later and that's almost completely gone, see? Let's just soften it right up, it's dissolving into the mixture. Stir it around. So I think I shut this off about an hour ago. And it's, this is what this is what it looks like. So that's just like kind of like fluid film. It's completely cooled off yet. It'd be funny if I dropped my phone in there. Wouldn't be funny actually. Um, anyways, I'm gonna heat this up again. It'd be a lot easier to spray hot. 
Okay, here's the setup. I taped a little, well, not a little wire, but a chunk of wire. It's quite a thick wire. It's uh, some kind of fencing wire. And uh, just because this this tube's quite flexible. And uh, I put that chunk of tape there so I know when it's about to come back through the hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this all the way through into inside of this cavity right here. Inside of here. All the way to the end. And then I'll pull the trigger and start slowly pulling it out. And then, uh, of course, then I'll see that green tape and I'll know when to stop. So, um, I got this all warmed up again. Let's see, it's quite liquidy. So now I gotta figure out how to get it into this pot. So, I guess I'll find a funnel that fits that. And if you can hear some crazy people in the background, it's my son and his second cousin playing the fools in the pool. It would appear that my plastic pail has developed a hole. I don't know if it uh, melted through, but the uh, plate that I had in there got pretty hot, I think, so it might have melted through. So anyways, I haven't checked it out yet, but I'll have to do that. Oh. Pretty much emptied it out into this container. So hopefully I'll have enough to do what I want to do here. So I got to do the uh, I got to do the that back cavity, the rockers, and the bottom of the doors. So we'll see. <coughs> So a couple of things, I mentioned that my uh, pail sprung a leak. You can see this spot right here where it got hot and bubbled out and started leaking right there. So when I was wiping it with my finger, this nasty little bugger here jabbed me in the finger so it was kind of stuck on here and that's that's a that's a wire off my I guess my wire wheel so I don't know if that was stuck to the bottom of the pail or it was in the bottom of the pail and so because this is an induction thing I wonder if that wire must have got hot and heated up this spot right here and, and caused that leak. Just guessing, but um, that's kind of suspect anyways. So this pail's ruined, so um, anyways, maybe I'll, in the future, I'm gonna, gonna have to find a steel pail for this thing or just an old pot or something. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna have to worry about having to put a metal object inside to get it to work for me. I had a lot of hassle with it anyway, so won't be doing that again. So anyways, uh, the other thing was I just wanted to show you that this is my this was my test. I sprayed uh, a little bit inside of this box before I started spraying in the car and you can see how this stuff is. It's uh, it's it's I just mashed this together. Just kind of, I didn't want to stick my finger in it, but I will now. I do have a glove on the other hand. Let's just get this up under some light here. You can see how how good it is, like how how good of a film it is. You can see how where it sprayed around. Not only shot it in there for like maybe a, maybe a second. So uh, and. Uh, I mean, because this is cardboard, it all soaked into the cardboard, but no, it's, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to store this somewhere and take a look at it in a few days and see what it looks like. It's like I was saying, uh, the solvents will evaporate out of it somewhat. And in this case, it's probably all soaked into the cardboard, but 
So there you go. I'm happy with how this turned out. Here's the door after I uh, sprayed some of that wax in. You can see how it, it's quite, you know, it's quite a thick film. And it, uh, it's even up here, like you can feel it up here. So, so it's got a nice oily, waxy film. And then I also, uh, I just gave it a quick shot of uh, some uh, Move It spray. It's just a penetrant. You can see it dripped out of the door there a little bit. But just so it soaks down into the, the, uh, the seam where it's folded over at the bottom of the door. And so that'll soak in like with capillary action into all those crevices down there. So, and then uh, when, when you're spraying this stuff, it's quite, um, it creates quite a bit of vapor. Like, so I wore a respirator because I don't want to be breathing in wax and oil. So, as you can see, yeah, you can see that, eh? So you can see the, the wax down in there. It's the gold color. And then, uh, see it down in there too. So I, I think it worked pretty good. It's got that 300 degree tip. Got it up in there. I don't know if it'll focus that spot. See, it's all, all gooey up in there. Yeah, you can see it now. Kind of looks the color of earwax. So it's nicely coated. I'm confident that that'll hold, hold the rust at bay for quite a number of years. Now I just got to find a, a plug for this. You can actually, you can actually see the the stuff in there too wow it's really that's this is the first cavity i sprayed it's just loaded with it right at the end there anyways it's there's a ton of it in there because that's when it was the hottest so it was spraying really good so yeah i can see i can see right into there and it's really loaded with the stuff so that's good hopefully it stays there i don't think it's gonna it's pretty warm today, so I mean it's it's uh, it's gelled up pretty nice, in this, even at this warm temperature that we got today. So it'll, I'm pretty sure it's going to stay in there. And a lot of the like, there's some solvent in it too, so it that'll uh, that'll evaporate out after a while, and it'll even get you know, I mean I don't think it's going to get like as solid as it was, and even if it does. I mean, well, it won't because there's I've got that transmission. Well, so, so um, as far as the formula goes, uh, um, I use three of those toilet rings, and um, probably I'm going to say quarter cup of uh, transmission oil, um, maybe a quarter cup of. Uh, Varsol. I don't think like I don't think you need to use linseed oil. I I used it just because it was already in that mixture. So um, anyways, I mean I think if you just use some Varsol and some transmission fluid, so I'm say half a half a cup of each, and then three toilet rings, you probably get what you need. But what I would do is I would melt the wax first, and just pour in. You know, maybe a quarter cup of each, quarter cup of arsal, quarter cup of transmission fluid, and just see what kind of a kind of a consistency you get. Or you can just spend the money and go buy uh, fluid film. Anyways, um, I just like to make my own stuff, so I think this is going to work really good. So anyway, hope this helps somebody. At least uh, you know you know the cavity sprayer setup. You can you can buy these. I I have found them online, so they're not that expensive. So. Um, so now that I've uh, sprayed uh, wax with this thing, that's that's what it's going to be dedicated to. I, I did start out, I, I, I did some cavity spraying on this car with paint um, on the, uh, drive, or the right side rocker. And uh, so I won't be able to do that anymore unless I completely clean it out. So, I mean, I did that once already, but it's uh, it's a wax sprayer now. And then I guess I'll have to 
take a heat gun to this thing and warm it all up before I can use it again because that stuff will plug it up. Even as it was at the end there it was getting a little uh, spotty. It would, it would spray wax and then stop like it was kind of pulsing so you had to wait for it. To, you, could, you could hear when it was spraying the wax it got kind of well, kind of wet sounding uh, and then uh, and then uh, so you just let you know that hear that wet sound and when it stops, you just stop, stop pulling on the on the cord, and wait for it to get wet again, and just keep pulling it out as it you know as it pulses. Anyways, uh, worked good. I'm quite happy with it. This car is uh, getting close to being done. I got to put this fender on now. Find a plug for that. Put the fender on, and uh, did a little polishing on this. Actually, there's polish splattered all over it, but. Polished my blends today. It turned out really nice. Um, painted this door last night. <laughs> so I don't know what I've been messing around with it a bit, but it went all it went all orange peely on me. I've been having a bit of trouble with paint. The last like first time I painted it was all solvent popped. It was too hot, I think. It was like 30 degrees or something in here. And then uh Last night I, re I sanded it all down, repainted it again, and then, I don't know, I just, it was cool. It was only like 20 degrees and still got it all orange peely. Um, anyways, I'll wet sand it and polish it and it'll look nice. So uh, I just like doing extra work, that's all. So yeah, so put the bumper on, fender on, doors together, polish that door, and we're out of here.